Welcome YouTube users to my instructional video on how to correctly connect your TD50X module to your computer. If you missed it, then you want to go back and look for this sheet of paper. It's called Attaching the Ferret Core. It's not inside the instruction booklet. It's a separate sheet of paper. Now in my case, when I attach the ferret core, I inadvertently put it on a malfunctioning USB cable. I thought it was good, but apparently it wasn't. So I had to undo the ferret core. It was relatively simple, and I'll show you how that's done. And you can see I wrote myself a note. Now here's what the ferret core looks like when it's attached. I chose the white cable deliberately. Now if you make a mistake like I did, you could simply just get a small screwdriver and undo those two hinges right there. It will come apart and reapply to a new or a different cable. Check all connections. Uh, before you place that ferret core on there. All right, let's take a look at the Roland site. Now in my case, despite what it says in the instruction booklet, Windows 11 did not find the driver. So I went ahead and, man and manually downloaded it. And as of today, March 16th, 2022, the driver version is 1.0.2. Simply scroll, scroll to the bottom of the page, click acknowledge and download the driver. It kind of looks like this. Once you've downloaded the driver, it's going to be a zip file. Basically, right click on that file, choose Extract All, and then you'll get the second folder right below it. Double click inside that folder and run the setup file. You'll get a prompt, acknowledge that prompt, and that will quickly install the driver. It's pretty small. Okay, so it's important to have the unit off, by the way. Make sure it's not powered on, and make sure it's not connected to your computer. You can connect the cable on the side, like I have with the ferret core. Okay, so I'm simply going to go ahead and connect this in, like so. I then went ahead and opened up the Windows 11 Device Manager. It's in Computer Management, and there's Device Manager. Now I did this because I want to make sure this driver actually installs. I don't like taking any company's word for it, right? We've all been there, we know. So I'm going to go ahead and power up the unit and then you'll see what happens in the device manager under the sound, video, and game controllers. Okay, so let's power up the TD50X. Sorry for the bright lights. Now if we go back to the computer, you'll see the TD50X driver is installed and correctly working. I can now open up my digital audio workstation, in my case it's Studio One. It'll find that driver and I can go ahead and start playing the, the, uh, the drum kit and record straight away with that driver being in place. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, put a note on my wall, click like if you like this video. And hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you. Have a good day.